Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KitBadger.com here to bring you a tip today that will hopefully come in handy next time you have the opportunity to teach someone. If you're like me, you enjoy learning. Natural progression from there, of course, is teaching. Being able to take the information that you've attained, package it, make it consumable so that someone can go ahead and learn whatever the skill is you're trying to pass on. Whether it be magazine changes on the range or teaching a little one to tie their shoes, a pitfall we can run into when teaching people is insulating them from failure. And to demonstrate this, we'll watch this little video clip. Yep. This is gonna be important. I'm getting it in slow mo too. Oh fuck. All right, go ahead, stop. In that video, out at the range, a couple fairly new shooters have been out there for a couple hours working on a drill, load, make ready. We're gonna shoot this reactive target, get our hits, get the reaction we want. Now though, broke out the pro timer, a little added stress, and then want some cool guy pictures. So his buddy's gonna film. All right, let's do this thing. So I watch him, workspace, magazine in, gives it a tug, super pumped, low ready, let's do this thing. I of course know what's gonna happen. Never send the bolt forward. It's not gonna work. Cool, let's run with it. Easily right there, I could go ahead and interject. Hey, even if it's just a little suggestion like, why don't you do a press check or send the bolt forward? It's open. None of that would have helped. I would have insulated him from the failure of that situation right there and took away the learning that he was able to get. Now, granted, there's no pain there. And pain often teaches us very memorable things. But what there was was probably a little bit of a little bit of hurt to the ego. Like it's on film. His buddy's watching. It's like, oh, like I was so excited and it didn't work out but that's valuable. That whole experience, and I, we talked about it, it's like, do you know what happened? Oh, I forgot to do, yeah, like why'd you do that? I, I got excited, I, I forgot, and I'm like, okay, cool, like, do you, do you understand? Like, do you remember? Yeah, I remember now, like, I bet you do remember now. And that provides so much value for someone that we're trying to teach, as opposed to just giving them the answer. Of course, the balance we're looking for here is safety and training, i.e. you see something like grossly negligent and dangerous, be like, oh, he'll learn from that. And like, no, he's probably gonna shoot himself or someone else, like nobody wins. Stay away from that. But struggling is not a bad thing. Now, granted, sometimes there's time constraints. And honestly, as people, we wanna see people succeed. We don't necessarily wanna see people struggle unless they're like your good friend and it's just funny. But children, watching your kids struggle with trying to tie their shoes. Fight through it, man. And obviously, at certain points on the range at home, we're gonna run into time constraints at times, such as, I'm gonna tie your shoes because we need to get out the door. We have somewhere we need to be. Or on the range, like, hey, I'm not gonna hold up everyone because of your inept time management, like I'm gonna tell you, jam your magazines now and bring them up there. Or bring them up there if it's a long walk. So we're not all waiting on this one person. Granted, that would be a learning experience, but no, at the cost of what? We don't wanna do that. So we balance all that stuff. Good rule of thumb, my cousin and I, in our formative years when we probably made some kind of poor decisions, Rules we live by was nothing permanent, nothing disfiguring. I don't want to walk with a limp, like anything like that for the rest of my life. I don't care if I get some cuts and scars, that works. I also don't want to be figured, or I'm sorry, disfigured. Gotta stay beautiful, man. With that, thanks for joining us at kipadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.